Previously on Dang and Rapa. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share? I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. Goodbye. It's fine. Goodbye. But those, as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. All right. Back in the dining hall. And after a few minutes. Hmm. So, this is everyone? Well, then. Okay, then. Oh, okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Let's start with uh, Kyoko. Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, um. Hey, Makoto? Does Kyoko seem upset to you? And maybe it's because she like spilled her heart to you and you didn't reciprocate. That's right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? <laughs> I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Oh, this is bad. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words... They're just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Hmm. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Ah. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But... Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. Yeah. What was that? What? What? <laughs> poom, poom. No, please continue. <sighs> Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Hell no, I didn't. Hey, come on and now. What did you say? As I know, you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Unbelievable. Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is That's my room. Me with betrayal? Oh my god. He just keeps going. That's my room, you know? It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um... Uh, no, no. I was just kidding. <laughs> Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. What? You're totally mad. Kind of I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having these thoughts, ah! I have no choice but to add the school to school regulations. Seriously? Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, are, that's the rule now, you jerks. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. <sighs> I, I, is he gone? <sighs> Whew, man. I was scared for my life. I sure was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. Well. But if you would go out of his way to make a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now that it's a rule, there's no nothing we can do. I uh, mean busting it down. Yes. Or breaking it down. Yes. However, you could still, like, pick the lock, right? That's my guess. Uh, we talked to him. Yeah. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, and it had all kinds of chemicals and okay. stuff. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in that, like, in stuff like that. Mm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. 
There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um, there was also um a bunch of different poisons. <laughs> poisons? Mm. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. Um, and you probably shouldn't tell Byakuya or Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? Well... Well, just in case, you know what I'm saying? We you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... J just in case. Yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Byakuya. It won't be long before he discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right in, out in the open? That's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Hmm. So, has everyone uh, said what they needed to say? I think so. Serious. It looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh... <laughs> I haven't been this, this, this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed. That's no, um, I have something I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found the picture up on the third floor for the other for the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. A another picture, almost just like that one. Huh? Another one? But this time, the picture of was of Celeste, Afumi, and Sia Sayaka. That, 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 that. Huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal metal covering the windows. Ugh. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that's had Celeste, Afumi, and Sayaka. But... But how can that... Conspiracy! Manokumo must have faked it! But if the picture is real... Then everyone who was in it... There would have been some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth... That we just don't understand. What? Can't be! It's fake! But Manokumo said it was real! I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then. Then you trust Monokumo's word over the people who have died? Because... Huh? That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That's... that's... that's not... What's going on? Kyoko, why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Come on, guys, stop fighting. Or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto... You're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokumo didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse you. Confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokumo has to say. Y you might be right, but still. Are you still so conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya! <laughs> you all have the same sunk <laughs> same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Ass hat. Sorry? Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. You're always we are and always will be completely separate. So whatever is causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Byakuya, where have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath. Okay. A mixed bath. If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. All right, to the bathhouse.
When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say too? What's your problem? I I, I already heard it. With with Master. <laughs> with Master? <laughs> You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, uh, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up! Stop bothering me! How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Well... No. I made Master permit a, a promise. A promise? <laughs> Master told me to wait here. So that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you doing? Wait, oh, I'm sorry. What are you? His dog? <laughs> <laughs> if that's what M Master wants, I'd do anything he asks. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. Uh oh. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we'd like you to move. Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. I like that. Whoa, what? Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely. Just let us use the laptop. What? what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. How about that? Come on, Makoto. Give her the old one-two combo. One drop to your knees, two beseech. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was desperate. I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her, and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent-up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. <sighs> so you even realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> Good job, Makoto. That was some real top-tier begging. I'll talk to everybody first. Hey, Kyoko. Still ignoring me. Oh. What kind of a relationship do Byakuya and Toko even have anyway? A uh, sick one. So then. Here's my main concern. I'll talk to her one more time. I'll go to bed every night for the rest of my life thinking about what just happened. Alright. Alter Ego time, guys. Right? Well, actually, can we... We checked these chairs before. The massage chair. It looks pretty old. <laughs> You're really cold. Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but... I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh um, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. A single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded. I moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Yoko began typing the words, appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect, effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Speak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's, that's... I see. That's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope Speak Academy themselves. Huh? Wait, 
What? Hold on. Then the reason we've been in prison here, it wasn't the work of some psycho freak or chem criminal organization or whatever. No way. It was the school itself? <gasps> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. Right. It seems the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? What does that mean? What? Yeah, what, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Post Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. Guys, they were like all in some sort of stasis lock for an entire year. That's my guess. They all went to school thinking it was a normal school. They were all walking around. Then they were drugged, put into a stasis, and then they woke up one year later. So they actually outlived this like tragedy that happened, like this like sort of sort of apocalypse, which I kind of did say. I did say, although I have said a lot of different theories, but that was one of the theories. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place, and whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would Hope Speak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer, and the answer we got was... Sorry. Sorry, I don't know if that information was ever on this computer. It's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. <laughs> Then, this really, the e this is really the end. We get halfway through the answer, and that's it. Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Ah! Oh wait. No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Yoko's fingers moved even faster than they than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No. I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. I'm so I'm in my mid 30s. Oh my god. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> This game's becoming a little bit too, like, I'm interacting with, like, oh, no, what's going on? Um, it seems possible, even likely, that th that he's somewhere in this school right now. He's, maybe he's the masked the dude. The headmaster? The headmaster is in this school? Okay. Is here in the school? And that's got to be the mastermind. I mean, monokubo has been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious. But if we break down the door into his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... Hmm. I'll find a way. I... Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No head matter master. what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She it has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. Dude. Oh, so these kids are young, right? They're high school level or age. Late 30s. Is it possible that the headmaster is her father? Just based off her reaction? We should see if Alter Eco has any more information. That seemed to be her her attempt to regain her composure. She started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from sorry. here. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then it's really over. Hey. 
Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um... I see. Certainly I knew it was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point to me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then maybe I'll take a little rest. Kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, man. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him at all much more any much all that much anymore. But, but I feel kind of sorry for him. But you feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well. I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. I'm gonna start doing that from now on. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on. It's a program. You can... Tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know what the difference between us and the program, really? That what? Well, but you know what's the difference between us and that, and the pro? Oh my God! Why can't I say that sentence? But you know the difference. What's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? Huh? I started thinking about how you could, how we would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter ego isn't human. I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah! He's no different from us, he's still our friend! Hmm... I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out! Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives us value to survive. So... Anyway... What? What? Don't so anyway that! It's totally a smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where! Hey. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role, is, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh um... Yeah, good idea. What's with the Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? Why are they making us kill each other? I don't know why I use that voice. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Wow. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. Did something like that really happen a year uh, ago? Um... I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of At Hope's Peak. Least. If nothing else, it must have been some kind of connection to the school. <laughs> hmm. Maybe all the students here were killed or something. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would have remembered that. <laughs> then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe, but right now there's only one path to open us. So... Open to us. We have to find some- find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Correct. Academy. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what. As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko, when she said headmaster, 
I got the feeling again. Well. But even... But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um... Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah. Did I? <laughs> Huh? Is it really that dusty? What? I, wait, I mean... Oh no! Oh no! I, I, I'm not waiting anymore! I'm not guarding it! Byakuya's gonna be so mad at me! Let's avoid getting involved any further. Um... Good call! But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away! It's pounding me with anger! You're not still mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Bzz. Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an incident mixed bath! Uh, indecent, sorry. Indecent mixed bath. But that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building. You feel it building. Yeah. My head's about to boil over with rage! Please! It's, don't get angry! Here, let me help center your chakra! <gasps> Etch this on the wall. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back! Hmm. For an eye! A fang for a fang! Huh? Fang for a fang? <laughs> uh, be, uh, be careful! He just chanted the incantation of devastation! Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Did he did he find out? Did he find out about <clears throat> This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. It is now 10 p.m. Plug it in my controller. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Correct. So it's night time. Okay. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better anyway. Uh, um, I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious for the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around in my round and around in my head. The administrators of Hope Speak Academy, or I keep I keep saying I keep adding Academy for some reason, of Hope Speak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy, which had happened a year before, and apparently the headmaster is the one behind it. All the mastermind behind it all, the mastermind, uh, all these mysterious. Mysteries, uh, make me worried. But I still have to try and unravel them, bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Monokuma Theater! Let's talk a bit about where I was before I became a bear. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger's prawn like I hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, You think we could do a tiger prod on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear and instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma!
Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! I don't know if anybody else just, like, skips through these. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! They're all the same, but I, I just, like, happen to... Like, you never know, like, when they'll change something. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. So interesting, guys. Um, I don't know. I mean, Alter Ego was helpful in the sense that we found out it was the administrators that did this. Um, that Kyoko had like a strong reaction to like the headmaster being inside the school. I we don't we don't know like what Kyoko was the ultimate of. I think it's possible that like her father is the headmaster of the school, which I think would be interesting. And that whole, like, what'd you do to my body type thing? Um, you know, maybe she knows that they've been asleep for, like, I, I personally think that they, um, they were brought to the school. Just like, yeah, everyone was like out walking around, but they were brought to the school. They were drugged, put in, I think that, that, thing that's like the air purifier like potentially they were that's like that's what put them in stasis for a year um then they woke up they're in this like new like post-apocalyptic world inside this school um they can't see outside uh we had that photograph of or video of um of makoto's family like being like gone and like his house being like torn up and stuff like that i'm thinking that's like a photo from like the previous year not that they were like that wasn't necessarily like a uh a way of like the school doing something to his family so i don't know i think that's kind of like that's my leading theory right now is that we're we're living in a post-apocalyptic world which i think i've said multiple times uh, a, a big tragedy has happened. They're in the school. They've been, they were asleep for a year. They've now re reawoken. Um, I don't know why, how Mon Monokuma plays a role in this, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, why they would want to kill each other. But I think the overall, like, plan was that they would live in this, like, communal lifestyle inside the school. And then maybe Monokuma then played a role. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. Stop by Premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here for more Danganronpa content. Until next time, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.